Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Movie, and I'm back once again with another easy achievement guide. Today we are doing the new tower defense game to reach the Microsoft Store, and that game is Dead Ground. Now, I'm not usually interested in tower defense games, but this one is short and sweet, and we get to LARP as Mad Max for a little bit. It's going to take around 15 minutes to complete. It's very straightforward, albeit a little bit difficult if you aren't paying attention. If you're looking to pick this one up, it's going to cost £4.19 or £4.99 for my American friends, but it's currently on offer, so now is the time to grab it. There is also a Windows version, so you can stack this one. This game offers 1,000 gamer score, and with the stack, you'll double it. My next guide coming out is for the Game Pass game Ravenlock. If you need that 100%, then please hit that red button, and you'll be the first one to see it. But for now, let's jump into Dead Ground. Okay, so to begin, we're going to have to go through a tutorial. At first, I did grumble, but I'll be honest with you, without it, I would have been stumped. So, first things first is to click the trailer in the bottom left of the screen, and this will access our inventory. Once we've opened our inventory, it will ask us to equip the sniper. Hover over it and press A. Next, we need to back out of this screen and go to the shop. Once inside, it will tell us to sell our other weapon. Now, this store can be used for upgrades and different weapons if you're playing through this normally, but for us achievement hunters, we're going to pretty much ignore it. Once in the store, press RB and it will change to our inventory. Hover over the unequipped item and sell it. Next, we're going to go to the camp building and we're going to buy our first upgrade. This will give us our first achievement, upgrade the camp for 100G. Unrelated, but this area really reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. Now, it's time to hit them mean streets. Go to the bonfire and press A. When traveling, you will come across random events. I personally accepted all of them. It is a flip of a coin, whether it is positive or negative. I got more negative than positive, but either way, we move. As you can see on this run, I also got a debuff. Hurrah! Once we're in the game, we can walk around the map and get a little bit more familiar with the controls. Sticks move our character and the D-pad moves our cursor so we can place structures. The dark circular patches are where we can place them. Hover over one, press A and then press left on the D-pad. A camp will spawn and some defenders will come to your aid. The next achievement, build the tower and that 100G is all yours. In the bottom of the screen, we have some slots for special abilities. Currently, we only have one, which is our sniper, but don't worry, it is very, very handy. When you want to use this sniper, press the X button and then hover over an enemy and then press the left trigger to shoot them. This deals a decent amount of damage and is really useful on bosses. And finally, by pressing RB, you will hop to the next wave even if you have enemies remaining on the previous one. And just when it was getting fun, the tutorial is over and we can finally do it properly and go get them achievements. We pick our character. It's gonna be Johnny, sadly, as that's the only option. And then we're in the game. This time round, we have no guns to sell and no defenses to buy. So straight to the bonfire and we're off to day one. Remember, say yes to everything while traveling and be optimistic about it. You never know, it might be positive. Once we're in the game, place down two camps and then wait for the enemies. We're about to hoover up a few achievements in a row now. When we kill enemies, they have a chance of dropping either gears or water. Each of these items have an achievement linked to them for picking them up. And we're about to go get it right after this first wave. And just like that, pick up one of each of these items and you'll get a 100 gamer score for each of them. There's going to be a little bit of a backlog of achievements now as we're going to get a few in a row. After the gears and water achievements, the next achievement is killing 10 enemies. Now, this one's a doddle. Line them up and shoot them down. You'll have this one completed by midway through wave one. By pressing LB, our character does have a speed boost. This is handy when you want to run and collect your loot. There is another achievement that we'll get shortly after, and that is for killing 20 enemies. By wave two, this one should be all yours, bagging yourself another 100G. Now, we've just got to fight through a couple more waves, then the boss is going to turn up. The enemies don't have very good range, so you can sit back in the desert and keep on blasting when they spawn. If you're at a safe distance, they will not hit you. Remember, we do need 50 cogs in one go for an achievement, so make sure you scoop them all up. Another tip, these boxes randomly spawn on the map. If destroyed, they hold a bunch of gears inside, so if you're a little bit short, break these open and it's all yours. Now it is time for wave five. The bosses and levels are randomly generated. For this run, I got to meet Mother Nope. 
but in other runs I also got to meet Crash and Robodob. Now, boss fights are the same as regular waves. They'll turn up with a group of enemies. The only difference is they take a lot more bullets to kill. This is where our special ability comes in handy. Your camp should help quite a bit by slowing them down. Obviously, if you have more water, which you should have at this point, then you can add more camps to make it a little bit easier, but I wanted to show you how doable it is with just the two. Focus the boss, then once it's down, we can get rid of the last of the mobs. And just like that, we've bagged another two achievements. Kill the boss and survive one day. Both 100 gamer score. Now, we have two achievements left and one of them is to die. Now, I'll be honest, I wanted that to be my last achievement and it would be a cool way to end the guide. But oh no, on the grind to 50 gears, this happened. I accidentally abused the RB button and flooded the board and died. Silver lining, that being I got to my next achievement. This is also where I found out it was 50 gears at once, as before I died, I had 40. When I grinded the next 10 on my next run, no achievement popped. So, make sure not to overspend your gears and hold them up so you can get the achievement as quick as possible. I reloaded after my death and I didn't let the currency burn a hole in my pocket and I saved them. Remember that these crates hold a lot of spare gears if you're running a little bit short. Simply make sure you're holding 50 gears or more at the same time and this achievement is all yours. And just like that, this title is complete and we have another 1000 gamer score under our belt. Congratulations. Now, time to get that Windows version down. And just like that, that is the end of my guide. Thank you so much for watching. If I helped you out in any way, then please let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that red button. As I said, I've got quite a few Game Pass guides coming out next. so. If you're into that sort of thing, then stick around and you'll be the first ones to see them. But until next time, I've been Morvie and I'll see you later. Happy hunting.